Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and I certainly hope you're having a fine day. Okay, what this movie file is about is that orange-handled knife that you see right in front of you. Now, this is a, what do they call a Benchmade Jungle Bolo Model 153BK. And here's the box that it comes in, and there's a, uh, I got limited space there between this table and my camera, so, but there, there's the designation right there, 153BK Jungle Bolo, okay, that's good enough, and of course it's a fixed knife. Now, some people might want to call this a machete, but it really isn't. It's just not thick enough, big enough, long enough, hairy enough, whatever have you. But I have bought, let me roll this around and show you this nice sheath. I've, I've been screwing around with machetes for the last couple of years now. And every one of them that I've got my hands on, I've been kind of dissatisfied with them simply because they were too heavy. Now this, this snap just comes off there and this guy comes out of here like this. I want to make sure I don't cut myself because I've been <laughs> having problems that way. Anyway, this is a very nice sheath right there. You can see it's got a belt loop. Why not have you? It's sewn very well. Got a couple of rivets on each corner right here. Okay, let me set that aside. Okay, right off the bat here. This deal, well, let me don't, let's not go that way first. Let me do this. This handle right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what they call Santo Preen. Now, I had to look this up on the internet because I wasn't exactly sure what Santo Preen was. But it's basically thermal vulcanized rubber polymer is what this is. Okay? Now, on the steel, you can probably see that this is 1095 spring steel. In other words, it's got a lot of carbon in it. You'll probably have to keep this knife, uh, not machete, but knife, good and oiled and cleaned up and whatnot, have you, okay? I'm trying to turn this around so you get a real good look at it. Okay, the thickness on this knife, which is what my concern is, because a lot of these cheaper Japanese, or excuse me, Chinese and Taiwan knives and stuff like that, the, the steel is much too thick and they're too heavy for the world I live in anyway. But a lot of these measurements I'm going to be quoting off you, I measured myself. Even though Benchmed, go to Benchmed's website and you'll get, you know, more accurate information than you will on some of these vendors on the internet. But we got zero, zero point one nine five, or approximately three eighths of an inch thick, which is just about right. Okay, and the, the blade length, and I'm talking about from the hilt of the hammer, the handle here, excuse me, to the tip is exactly nine inches long. I measured it. That's why I know. Okay, the total knife, the total length of this knife from here to here is 13.59 inches long, and the handle thickness right in here is 0.89 inches. Now, there's a few people griping on the internet that this has got a small handle, and it's true. This handle is not real big and bulky, but it, it fits my hand, okay? Follow me? And uh, I, I measured this distance right in here, the depth at 1 and 5 16 inches, okay? And the handle length from here to here is four and five eighths inches. I measured it. I know. Okay. Now the weight of this knife, just the knife itself, is eleven point eight two uh, ounces. Excuse me. And thank God for that because I'm tired of buying these IE machete bigger knives that are, you know, take a grill and a small boy to pack around. Okay, this sheath right here, ladies and gentlemen, weighs 3.47 ounces. And so you've got a total weight of this and this knife right here at 15.29 inches. 
uh, excuse me, ounces. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. In other words, just a hair under a one pound, which is, suits me just fine. And like I say, this is 1095 steel. It is blackened. I'm sure you can see that. There's the Benchmade Largo right there. I always say USA, and it's got 153 there, if you can read that. And, okay, if this handle, if you decide to buy this, if this handle right here is a little bit on the thin side or whatever have you, you can always put, I know doggone well, you can overwrap this handle with, with uh, paracord, for example, or... You know, by the time you put a doggone lanyard in here and like that, it'll give you a little speed bump, a little bit of something more to grip onto. But I find the handle to be quite comfortable for me. And it's got a really nice balance to it. And it is weighted forward here, you know, so you can get into some cutting. And, and, and my humble opinion, this is more of a survival utility type knife. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, all oh, except for the fact that this thing, this piece, this instrument right here is going to cost you uh, 100 bones, 100 bucks, or just a hair over. But you can either do that or buy a bunch of these cheaper ones like I've done and be dissatisfied. It's much too windy outside today. It may calm down this afternoon where I can do a chopping test. I'm anxious to see how this thing's going to work, but... It's really sharp coming out of the box. I like it quite a bit. Uh, I haven't used it quite obviously, but it's, I like it, okay? Just that simple. Let me set her on down here, put the box back in place. And I thank you very much for watching the video. And if you're considering a knife like this, I would take a look at this Benchmade 153BK. Very well. Have a nice day, and like I say, thanks for watching the video.